Alright guys, what's up? Uh, today I'm going to do a review on the iDisc application which was released by Apple two or three days ago. It's free, you do need to have mobile me. So if you've not got mobile me then now's probably a good time to actually put it off as it's going to be useless uh, to watch this video. You need mobile me and iDisc is free from the App Store. It's pretty much, um, I would call it a off-site backup sort of thing. Um, you're going to be saying sort of thing, but what I mean by that is, say you're at home, copy your files over to iDisc, you go out, you've got your iPhone, your iPod Touch with you, and you've got those documents, movies, or music files, or those pictures, and you can pretty much recall them, and I've got a document here, it's actually where my course works, and as you can see, you've got a, this is in pages, so yes, this is Red Bull. Uh, I was actually doing an assignment on Red Bull a while ago. You can have music. Here's one music track that I've got. I'm not going to play it due to the YouTube copyright issues. And a few pictures. These are pictures that I took in Dubai. Um, one thing that I'd like to see in the future upgrade and an update of uh, this is the, the scrolling feature so you can view all your files when you scroll. At present, this this uh, doesn't have it, so you've got to go back to pictures and open them up uh, individually. Harley Davidson bike at Dubai Airport, pretty cool. Oh, and this is a big one. As you can see, there's a Wi-Fi uh, logo. With that. I'm pretty sure it's using the Wi-Fi to go into my iDisc. And here's going to be a close-up of the Harley Davidson bike. Why I'm showing you this, uh, I don't actually know, so I'm going to end it here. <laughs> so as you say, as I said, you've got to have mobile me using your laptop, your MacBook, or your iMac. Copy those files over that you need to access for your iPod Touch, your iPhone, and you're ready to go pretty much. Some other features um, that has settings, you can choose to have show extension types, show system folders, local storage. 100 MB and I think it goes all the way up to 200 MB just going to put it back to 100 there we go and you've also got the help files if you're new to iDisc like I was a few minutes ago then this may be handy but I, didn't, I haven't used it but it's good for those who are starting up who don't have a clue um, what iDisc is about it's got a good guide it's got good menus so let's go into one of these it's got pictures, so it's quite user friendly, so if you're actually stuck in using this application then it does have a help file. That's it pretty much. Um, I don't technically have Gla um, mobile me. I got the 90 or 60 day trial that you get when you get a new iPhone. So if you don't have mobile me and you don't already know about this mobile me trial offer, basically when you get a new iPhone I think I don't know if I don't know if it works for other devices as well, but when I got the 3GS, I got a 60-day trial for Mobile Me, and that's still going on. So I've got a few days left on it. Very good. I would recommend you get Mobile Me for the trial. Test it if it's good for you. Keep it and pay the the yearly trial, a uh, yearly trial, the yearly premium. Or if you just want to check it out, do get the trial. And um, that's it for this um, review. Um, thanks for watching. If you've got iDisc or what do you think on Mobile Me? If you've got Mobile Me, what do you think about it? Do you use it regularly? For the 30 or 60 days that I've had it, I can't recall the last time I actually used iDisc apart from for this review. Not my cup of tea. I do use the Mobile Me email address because I think it's pretty cool at me.com. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Mm -hmm.